many times we see artists finish pieces, but we don't get to see the creative process. Well, now you can. Matt Olin with Charlotte is Creative, always introducing us to so many creative things around the QC, is here to talk about it this morning. What do you have with you here, Matt? Yeah, thank you, Mary. Good to see you. Um, well, we have a Charlotte native, in addition to an artist, uh, Austin uh, Keith Grant is just an amazing artist in town, and he is uh, in, in collaborating with us on a, an art party in the park, Sheffield Park on East uh, in East Charlotte, scheduled for this Saturday. <laughs> But uh, keep an eye on CLT is Creative on Instagram because it may be pushing based on weather to June 2nd. But it's going to be visual art, murals, chalk art, uh, DJs dancing, you name it. And just lots of ways for the community to come together and help artify and beautify this really special park. A true party in the park. All right, Austin. So 20 plus creatives at work right. for yourself. What got you into art? Uh, I, I've really been doing art since I was a little kid. Uh, I can't really answer that question specifically other than it's my natural mood um, <laughs> you know it's just what I do so and what kind of art specifically because we know there are so many different platforms that so I do my own style of artwork which I would say is like a post pop kind of semi abstract art but I also have a branding agency where I help people daily with uh, logos and all kinds of creative work so there's really no limits of what I'm able to produce when we talk about watching the process and we're watching some of these videos of your process now what really goes into an artist process a lot, and I think it's different for everyone. For me, it's um, hours of overthinking, but executing, hopefully, a piece <laughs> that I have in mind. So, you know, just preparing and, and planning and redoing things all over, um, and just, just trusting the process that things see it through, you know. What do you hope people experience them when they come to see this in person? I mean, obviously, sometimes these art pieces take, you know, weeks, if not months of time. Right. But for one day, what do you want people to take in when they come to the party? Uh, for, for this specific event, it's kind of a microcosm of what's going on in the city. Um, you've got all these different artists, all different talent levels, um, disciplines, styles. It's, it's just a, a giant hodgepodge of, of creative goodness. Um, CLT is creative is really uh, helping us out, you know, giving us a platform and connecting with each other. A lot of times artists are sort of in their own little pocket, mm -hmm. um, but it's really nice to get to meet everybody and uh, connect with those people. So, And we're talking 20 different creatives. Yeah. Um, and so are you familiar with most of these creatives, Matt? Well, I mean, a lot of them we are, but we also love to engage with, with artists that we know are out there working, but we're just discovering them. We like to consider ourselves like Charlotte's talent, talent scouts. Yeah. Really, right? <laughs> yeah. And so this is just a part of this ongoing last year and this year. We have such the honor of working with Mecklenburg County to bring art and artistic activations into different greenways and parks in the different districts. And this is just, you know, whether it's Austin or 19 other artists in, in this event coming up, it's just so cool to keep expanding that network. Absolutely. Let's put the information on your screen because, again, it's at Potter's Path. Uh, this is Sheffield Park. Again, scheduled for this Saturday. Uh, it is 10 to 1. But as you said, Matt, <laughs> keep an eye on social media channels. Charlotte is Creative is going to keep you updated on this. Uh, so you can um, obviously follow along to learn more always with Austin's Instagram. Uh, uh, and obviously, your um, that's your work page as well. The uh, Mantra yes. Supply, which you were talking yep. about, is how that's you help correct. people with their logos and branding. Uh, but there's Charlotte this creative platforms Instagram X Facebook they'll let you know if they're gonna change the date because we don't want to have a soggy party in the park. we don't want yeah right no no yeah, it's not don't. good for the art no, no. We like sunshine and you know rainbows and all that whatever. that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we may be looking forward to the second but Kristen we're gonna keep the folks posted either way we're gonna get there and it's gonna be glorious thank you all so much